Okay, I hope you can hear because somebody's outside with a leaf blower um, in our neighbor's yard. So <laughs> here we are. Um, I haven't been able to get on yet today. I'm a little later than I planned. And then as soon as I started getting everything together, this started and I'm like, well, if I wait for him to be done, you guys might be busy. So say hi when you're hopping on. Okay, you dropped a new thing. Um, you get two tubs of you and a free water bottle. Look at these. It's like a mixer bottle without the little metal thing. Oh! Hmm, you're back early. Yeah. How'd it go? Um, they, uh, you mean just have a good trip? Yeah, how the adventure? The, the, the girls, man, they're just not into it. I tried taking the girls, uh, we had, had a little break. I was like, let's go, we'll, we'll take an hour and go drive into the mountains and check out the views, it's beautiful and all that stuff. And Lola sat in the front and talked about DTI, which I found out about 10 minutes into it is Dress to Impress, which is a part of Roblox. Yeah. So she told me about all the release dates. Yeah, she's all, currently... Uh, it's weird. Trend she's center. talking about cages and stuff. Like, we gotta start doing a deep dive into what this game. Princesses and cages and... Uh, <laughs> I, didn't what? I didn't understand any I of played it. with her I played with her maybe two nights ago oh. it was she ended anyway, up and trendsetter just, fell asleep. I don't know about princess cages but she ended up trendsetter which was and she called Maya and Lexi and was like hurry go vote for me my outfit is up or something and so we were all voting that she yeah. and so she got all the stars and she's like I'm a trendsetter and I'm like well you recruited all your family to vote for your outfit. Anyway, it's a, you put this outfits cool. on. Yeah, it is. They gave it to you on the thing. Is it pretty secure? Well, not if you unscrew that lid. Um, okay, anyway, so, so they fell asleep. That was a trip. They fell asleep. DTI for 15 minutes. Yeah, and then I looked back and Lexi asleep. was staring at the floor. We're, mind you, we are driving through like one of the prettiest places on earth. Yeah. And Lexi was staring they at the floor. And I was like, are like, you okay? She goes, yeah, I'm just thinking. <laughs> then, they, then they just fell asleep. Both of them fell asleep. Right before that, so Lola was worried she was going to get car sick. I just around? turned around. That's funny. I literally went, I just turned around. I was like, just in okay. the middle of I was like, there's only one, two people at my house that like <laughs> to go on adventures. One of them is you, and one is a two and a half year old that can't tell me she doesn't want to. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. It was great. I told him when he got everybody together today, he was like, we're going out on an adventure. And I was like, I have too much work to do. I can't adventure today. And I was like, y'all have fun. And I was like, where are you going? He's like, where are you going? There's like this really, be it is a beautiful overlook. And I was like, do you think they'll like that? He's like, yeah, I already talked to it. Like they're all game. <sighs> totally asleep. It's funny. Okay, let's do a little pomathera. Okay, so we're going on a day date. If you're not familiar with a day date, this is our first time without children that we're going to go to Old San Juan. And I emphasize the without children part because if you've ever gone with your children to do something, it's an entirely different experience. But there's a botanical garden there, there's a museum, and a few things that our kids are not at all interested in it. So they have activities today that they're doing. Um, they're part of this like cooking class and they are, they just have stuff. That, and so I was like, we could plan us to do stuff while they're doing their thing. And so, um, it is hot here and every, we've gone a couple times and every time we've gone, um, our kids have hated it. It's beautiful, but they hate it. And so today I'm so excited to go do something grown up and we're going with another couple um, that we met at church and I'm really excited. So uh, we're gonna go do grown up things. We're going to get sushi, which my kids also don't, well, some of them like sushi actually, but uh, we're going to do that. Christian had a doctor's appointment bright and early this morning. We had to be there at nine. So his anxiety had already kicked in about 6.30 this morning. So I had to kind of uh, reel him, you know, I don't like doctor's appointments either. So I totally get it, but um, I'm shutting the door because it's loud. Sorry. Uh, so we <laughs> went 
a, uh, you know, like you have to get your kids like, there's nothing wrong, but like wall visits and stuff. And I was like, it's not gonna be a big deal. We just have to get everybody like established here. Like we gotta find doctors so that when you are sick, I don't know if you know this, but if you don't have like someone you primarily use, then when your kids are sick, sometimes it's hard to get them in places. So I'm just trying to be like, okay, let's get everybody in with finding new providers and stuff. So it just has felt like a long day, <laughs> um, but not as long as the adventure that, uh, I bet he was like, you guys look at these views and I'm sure they're like, yeah, it's so funny. And we will plan things, we do plan things that we think that they're really gonna like, but sometimes you think your kids are gonna like something and then you remember they're kids and they don't always um, like the same things. So here we are. Will we get fall or winter weather here? So Roxanne, the last two mornings on the way to the gym, I got goosebumps on the golf cart. So that lasted until about eight o'clock in the morning and then it's hot, hot, hot. But they did say like next month, it will cool down and it will, it's obviously still tropical here, but it won't feel like we're living on the sun, which is currently how some days feel in the middle of the day. Oh, he did try and we, and we do, we try. Do you get points for trying? As a parent, I feel like we should get the, did you try points? And we are really racking up that we've tried hard. Um, I am really excited to have, like, to go do things that I, I love, like, art museums, I love botanical gardens, I love all those types of things, and, you know, if I try and get them to go with me, they're just gonna be like, uh-huh, this is boring, this is what happened the last time we tried, and so I was like, if we do this again, we need to do it when the kids have stuff planned, and then, because it's only about a 40 minute drive from our house. So it's not far. Oh, my mother is calling. Um, she has gotten on this. I must be on the live schedule as she's driving somewhere schedule. Cause that's what my mom called. Okay. So let's get ready for a day date. That means I'm getting ready today. Ophir has 30% off. I feel like I haven't even done a good deal on telling you about the deals. Um, Ophir has 30% off if you use the code GIFT, and today only is free shipping. So I put that in the description of the video. Um, if you're watching the live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. We are gonna give away an Amazon gift card today, so share this video, comment share below. If you tag a friend, you get an extra entry, and um, happy day. I was worried because I didn't know how long everything would take today. I was like, I might not get to go live. I might be putting on makeup in the car with new friends. <laughs> Who knows? And I'm so excited that like, no, I have time to hang out with you guys today. What else everybody gotten for Amazon Prime? Any good deals? Has anybody gotten anything awesome? I'll tell you some of the things I ordered. I got a kid's kitchen for Veda and it's really, hopefully it's gonna be really cute. And I just got a few things we needed for the new house, like knobs for the drawers, some cabinet pools, just really anything that I felt like we needed. Um, I wish I'd waited on light fixtures. That's a bummer because I already ordered them last week, not thinking. Um, but if you're updating your home, great day uh, to order Amazon stuff. Okay, here we go. A little bit of dewy primer. So today Beautiful You has the deal. It just started today. I don't know how long it's going for, but I didn't link it or drop the word me if you don't see a link. Um, but you get two canisters of Trim Fit. Whoa. Um, two canisters of Trim Fit and a free water bottle. I'm going to have to turn the air on. It's starting to get warm. I shut the door. Trimmers. Nice. Okay. 
don't forget primer. Even if you're in a hurry, even if you don't think you need it, you probably do. Um, I haven't made the bed yet, so don't judge. Just not been made. Um, we have to hide these because Veda really loves them and she'll say, but they're healthy. She'll like, well, they're only healthy if you only eat one. Um, if you have like, she wants to eat nonstop. I'm like, you can't have a million probiotics. Um, probiotics are good for gut health. Good with bloating, digestion. These taste so good. And if you just still have like irritable stomach, really, really good. Okay. Yay! I love it when you guys hang out and talk to each other in the comments. It's so great. Do I recommend the dewy over the matte? It just depends on what you like. If you want your skin to look more dewy, then I would get the dewy. If you don't like the look of like that lotion-y, dewy, not a sweaty, but like a dewy look, then do the matte. So, um, this is, oh, that ring's big. This is just a little Amazon dress. I thought, you know, if you get really hot when you're out there, I thought I could, <laughs> it's probably how I lose friends if I fan myself like that um, out on our day date. But, um, so we're going to like a, we're going to a sushi place and they were like, do you guys like interesting foods? And I was like, yeah, we love like all foods, which we really do. And then after I said that, I was like, I wonder how interesting this sushi place is. Because sometimes it can be like really interesting. So I'll document what we end up eating. Um, let me just tell you, today I, when we were at the doctor, funniest thing happened. So we go in and I'm sitting beside Christian. I was just wearing like sweats because it was bright and early and I wasn't dressed yet, but um, like just sweatpants. And the doctor goes, uh, what's your relation to, to him? And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, um, like uh, are you his sister? Are you his friend? Are you his, and I was like, me, I'm his mother. And she was like, you're his mother? I was like, yes, I'm, I'm his mom. So Christian's almost 16. And she was like, I thought you were his sister or a babysitter. And I was like, no. And she's like, how old are you? I was like, I'm 35. And she was like, what? I thought you were like maybe 20, 24. And I was like, I'm gonna come here. We are instantly connected. Um, but no, and Christian was like, she couldn't even hear you when you called my name because she's old and you need to check her ears. <laughs> and I was like, well, I might look young, but apparently I'm going deaf. Um, it was so funny. But I was like, what? I, but I, I was just wearing like sweats. I don't know. You know, sometimes you look, and I think if you don't have any makeup on, sometimes you look younger, but I was like, so Adam calls and he's like, how to go at the doctor? And I was like, she thought I was his sister. And he's like, well, that's good. Well, <laughs> what the doc like, how'd it go? Do you like her? Like, do you, uh, all these things. And I was like, oh yeah, it went great. Um, but it was really funny. So funny. You gotta love kids. They'll like keep you humble. Um, where you're like, I really couldn't hear it. They had on music plus the air conditioner. And then I tend to be like, I don't know, I hear a lot of sounds. And so I didn't hear them call, like I didn't hear the name call, but kids. So funny. Okay, we're going in with Ophir's setting powder. Um, this is the shade I need. Okay, I'm using the shade Butter. It's like the medium shade. And I do use the Dewy Primer, but I will use um, a setting powder still. So. 
this I feel like is where all of the blurring all of that like really airbrush look is from this um, my bangs are growing out and they're just in my face so I, I get so annoyed when people touch their hair but I literally can't keep them out of my face I'm really sorry it won't be for long they're gonna grow um, where oh where is my bronzer where oh where would it be Go put this on. This is the shade Deep. Yep, Sundial in the shade Deep. This bronzer is humongous and it lasts forever. The base I used for my face was just Ophir's Skin Satin Foundation. I just kind of rub this out um, on the edges so you can't really tell where that transition is. I'm going to use a little bit on the fluffy side of the brush, um, just kind of stir it around and I'm going to put this on my chest just so the colors all blended. What's everybody doing today? Anybody have fun trips coming up? We're trying to decide what um, what we're gonna do for like the holidays and just in general. Christian's 16th birthday is coming up. It's exciting. And my dad is coming to town soon, so I'm really pumped about that. Today we're going to use the shade Apricot. I've been using Current Blush a lot lately, and I, I absolutely love that color. But I wanted to show you other shades just so you can see how they look on. So this is the shade Apricot, and it is a very peachy and sometimes you can even do like a sunset look where you do peach into current and I feel like it's really beautiful so but if you're someone who you're just looking for maybe like a really light blush that blush helps lift your face so as we age gravity wants to bring our face down blush adds color here so your face looks more lifted your cheekbones look a little higher um, but sometimes blush can be a little intimidating and this is really really a nice color and I just kind of start here and then I go all the way up above where I contoured You just booked another cruise for February after watching um, the live from the ship. Yay! Where are you going? That's so fun. Ooh, you're going to Knoxville to see the University of Tennessee. Knoxville is close to where I grew up. You're at work behind a boring desk. What does everybody do for their jobs? I feel like you guys get to know so much about me and some of you I have no idea like what you do what are you like Brenda's doing laundry oh you ended up in Tennessee for fall break because of the hurricane I didn't even think of fall break possibly falling when people had thought about going to Florida we are praying for everyone that is going to be affected by this hurricane. It has made me like crippling anxiety. And the only thing I know to do is just like pray. And then I've heard stories about people who are like not planning to leave. And it made me 
makes me so nervous. And so I was like, Lord, I literally just am just praying, praying, praying. Okay. Somehow both of these are my perennial palette, and I need, um, I was going to use a different one, but I'll use this. Maybe? No, I don't see the other one. Anybody else feel that way? I just have been so overwhelmed by like sadness and grief and like anxiety. It just, um, it, I just feel like there's so much of it we're hearing and seeing that it's just really devastating. Oh, but no, I have not picked the pajama with, yeah, I need to ask Natalie. I, was, I thought that was yesterday. It, they're probably for sure picked by now. Um, uh, if you go to the comments on that video, it should be pinned. If not, I'll check it after this and see Natalie does a really good job picking the winners and making sure all the things get sent out for uh, the videos. My job is to announce them and ask for shares and she gets everything out to everybody. So it's really nice. Okay, going in with this brown color. I am going to use that apricot on my lids, um, but I'm just using this brown from the perennial palette. I'm going to do like a neutral look today. Nothing too crazy. Just something really pretty. Uh, I did link the earrings. They're from Lavender Blue. I have a discount code with them. And if you drop the word me, it'll just send you the message. My jewelry today is a mix of Lavender Blue and Amazon. Working in commercial real estate. Vicki, that's fancy. You're going to Puerto Rico the first week of December? That's fun. going to Cosmel. You were a labor and delivery nurse, Diane. That is amazing. I wanted to do that as my job. And then I realized as I got older, I cannot handle the sight of blood or the smell or and so even like maybe I could be a doula, like I really love being supportive, but the actual blood part kicks me out. So I'll never get to do that. But I was, fun fact, I was a birth photographer for several years. I don't know if you guys know that about me. I was a photographer for 10 years. And during that time, probably four of the years, I was a very, very busy birth photographer. Um, and meaning that when people went into labor, I was on standby and when it got closer to like when they were about five, six centimeters, that's when I came in and I documented like everything from the husband loving on the wife and like helping her to like um, the pre setup of like where they weigh the baby and the blankets and then the instruments and all the little things. And then obviously when the baby's born and documenting like the family's first hour together, it was really nice. It was a very, I loved, I absolutely loved it. Like some of the most amazing pictures and it was just so neat, especially if someone had never had a child. It was just one of the most incredible things to watch a family go from it just being them. to like a baby in the room. It was just amazing. Absolutely loved it. But the more kids I had, the harder it got for me to become very on call because you had to find sitters for your kids. And, you know, sometimes it was like, Whew, oh no, we're in labor, like quickly. And so um, it just became a little, it was just not as predictable as I needed. And so that might be something <laughs> as I get older, I might would do that again because it really was wonderful. Um, nurse of 20 years in a rural hospital. I hope you had fun in Cancun. Patty, you're a retired nurse. So many nurses. You guys are amazing. Branch manager for a finance company. I also worked at a bank. When I was 18 and 19, I worked at a bank. I did life insurance sales and I opened up new accounts for people. And then I called people and told them when their CDs were expiring and tried to get them like set up. Um, so I did that and that's what I did while I was 
pregnant with Christian and then once I had him I didn't go back to work uh, doing at the bank and then that's when I transitioned to starting photography so you just never know uh, what oh you do newborn photography also such a talent um, new newborn photography I feel like it's really hard okay we're gonna go in here with um, a little bit of that apricot just on our finger nothing fancy right and I'm not actually adding it to the lid I'm adding it to this like little crease area you could use your fluffy brush too if you want I just feel like I'll have more control to put it over that brown here and I'm leaving my lids just nice and tan from my foundation and setting powder okay here we go one more time all right little fluffing of the brows So many people work at hospitals. Wow. We're tired. I love getting to know everybody and then what, I don't know, what everybody does, what they're into. If they buy things, what they like, it's just so fascinating. Cause sometimes I'll hop on here Sometimes I can feel like I'm talking to myself for a little bit. And then I love when people chime in because I'm like, oh, good. Oh, look. <laughs> Terry's here, you know, like kind of thing. <laughs> You're an insurance rep and want to be anything else. Laura, I totally get that. So photography for me was what I was doing when the kids were little, but again, you know, it's hard to like find sitters and hard to um, edit once you had so many kids. And so that's why financially we needed extra money. And um, that's how I got started with doing makeup tutorials because I could easily get ready and do makeup tutorials or help color match people um, from home. And that's how I got started doing this. So I started doing makeup tutorials before anybody else was really doing them. It was even before live was an option. I did pre-recorded tutorials and then eventually I live came out and I think I was the first person that I knew in like our area to do them. And that was in 2015 is when I got started. So probably 2016 is when lives came out and probably four of you, like my friend Jessica, my parents, my sister every now and then my my papa they got Facebook just so they could watch and then about 20 of you and then every now and then it hit like a video got 100 views and just stuck with it for a long time and at that point I was actually not really good at makeup um, but I was learning and I was sharing what I was learning and now I feel like I do a pretty good job. Like I've gotten, I've done makeup on other people. I do it on myself. I love playing in it. I love the creative factor of it. I, but I love teaching simple things that are very duplicatable because I feel like when I used to watch YouTube videos, there were 25 steps and that was really overwhelming for me. And so I love teaching little things that make a big difference, like doing this one thing really makes a difference or this one product you can use it a couple different ways so I love teaching that kind of stuff okay looking for some um, I gotta clean out my stash at some point comfortable and I need readers comfortable smudge proof mascara Or scrunchy. Okay. I've talked about this many times, but if you struggle with getting mascara on your lids, if you stick your head out where you look really goofy, like a turtle, 
You guys don't normally see that I'm doing that, but from the side, this is what it looks like, and it makes it where your eyelids, you're not like scrunched. <laughs> Lacey, you started what I did with Unique, but you saw from the live video started, you were too chicken. It was so scary, and it still sometimes is scary, but I will say back then, it's like we were so desperate for income that I did. I was like, maybe I could. I would go live, and my goal was to sell five mascaras at, at the time because I was like, if I could sell five mascaras, that was twenty five dollars commission, and I was like, that can get me like diapers or gas or so. That was kind of if I sold at least five mascaras or something that equaled to twenty five, I could do this throughout the day when my kids were around or when they were sleeping. And it really gave me a way to be able to work from home. And um, it was like a hard season. Then I went through a divorce. And then it was a really, really hard season. And then um, at some point, like, it took off. Like, I started doing the launch videos and other things. And people started telling their friends about me. And then we ended up growing. And now I don't feel as silly going on. But for a long time, people would be like, why are you doing that? Like, nobody really does that. And that's so dumb. And all these, like, negative, especially, like, just negative people that I knew in real life that were like, I can't, or like you would hear them talk about me and stuff. And I'm like, okay. Um, but for me, it was like, uh, I would get hives and I'm like, I'm going to do this because I really need, this is a way I could see still getting to stay home and childcare was so expensive for all the kids. At the time I had like three, I was still nursing Lola. And when I started doing makeup tutorials and it just was like, a way I could see possibly getting to still be home and work from home and so you kind of do things that other people feel like are ridiculous and then eventually you're like look we have friends on here and it, it all worked out yeah so for any of you who you have something you want to do right you have something in your that maybe other people are like oh that's so dumb but you know you're like, if I stay consistent and I do this, what if it does work out? Like, what if? What if the thing you're doing, like, does? And I would say I'm a perfect example of that. Like, what if I'd stopped, you know? But it was scary. <laughs> it was really, really, really scary. So I totally get it. And no judgment for anybody who doesn't want to. Every now and then I still get hives whenever I have to do something that I'm like, oh... Why did I sign up for that? I guess that's the craziest part because you didn't know for sure. <laughs> you didn't know if it was going to work out. Though. I was really hoping and I didn't really have many other viable options that I could do with three kids around. So, and then now I have four kids. Um... But it has brought, I will say, for every one negative person, you know, there has been a thousand wonderful, nice, loving, like, fun, warm, wonderful people that have been added to my life. Like, the pros far outweigh the negative. Like... Um, and I'm just really grateful to have like, I always say like I've gotten on the good end of the internet cause I have some friends who get really a lot of mean people and I'm like, I just, I don't like our little club here. We like, I love seeing people like answering people's questions and being kind to each other and just being so positive and so nice and like loving and like the hands of feet of Jesus, you know, and they're like. There is so much good in the world. The world is a really good place with a few yucky people. So anyone who you've ever watched a video or bought or supported or told a friend, I would not be here without you guys at all. So I would just be sitting here by myself in my bedroom a couple people so I'm really grateful for you
Oh yeah, we did Jane and Kate for a while. We did a boutique. No, selling clothes out of our house. Yes, did that. I sold earrings out of my attic for a while. Hand packaged every little one um, with like a team of two of us and uh, tried our hardest to make necklaces and get things out. You know, it's not ever been a lack, a lack of trying stuff. Some stuff just works and some stuff doesn't, but you never know unless you try. And I will never judge anyone at the beginning phase, phase or at the end phase of what they're doing because it's like, I respect if you put it yourself out there, like, Christian, today we had a conversation and he said, I just, we were talking about failing and what failure was. I'm going to do my lips in a second. Um, but we were talking about failing and he was like, but you know, like, what if I do da, 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 and then what if I fail? I would rather just not do it. And then I don't have to deal with like rejection or experiencing failure or the feeling of failure. And I was like, what if you looked at it differently? That what if, like it is failing if you don't try at all. But what if you try and it does work? Or what if you try and it worked almost? Or it's a little better? Or it's a, like, truly what we feel like we're protecting ourselves from, from failing, if we don't do anything at all, that is the failure. If we are just stepping, even if we only get two or three steps further than we were from sitting there being like, I'm not going to do it at all. And it's like retraining ourselves that it is safe and we only learn and we only get better by trying things and by failing. Like, I would not know how to fold a fitted sheet unless I failed a lot of times and eventually you learn, you know, like, um, or whatever it is, you know, like trying, if you don't try, that's failing. And so that is just such a hard thing to learn. And it can be so intimidating in our lives to be like, but what if, but it's like, but what if it doesn't fail? What if it turns out better than you could have ever imagined, you know? And when you look for that, like, what can we learn? Like, it's amazing. I'm trying to find a movie. Lip gloss. I have so many things going on right now because of this, because I am who I am. But I, I want to blame the trip, but it's probably not. Like, I just put this in the skincare, like, I just, yeah. Also, I think it's because I talk while I do stuff. So when I'm done with it, I just kind of set it wherever. And then that's kind of not a good idea. But this also needs to be sharpened. Thanks for being patient with me. I know um, some days have it together more than others. Some days I can find things better than others. liner but I don't have the actual pencil sharpener um anyways we're gonna get through this I'm setting this down so I won't lose it yes failure is just one step into the path of success and I think that um I think that, that is so so important so I have a friend let's see um you want to do this so badly, but you feel like you're too old. Okay. So Carrie, I have a friend. She is 48. She just got started this year and I did not actually know her in real life. I met her for the first time on the cruise last week, but we've talked online before, but she was a follower of mine. And I guess we, I had spoken one day about if you want to do it, like there is someone that you could connect with that I could never reach. There's someone that will relate to you differently than they will relate to me. And that no matter what the age you are, if you want to do this or you want to, anything you want to do, it is not too late. And um, you can learn along the way. And so she actually started posting videos during the pandemic and going live. And she has grown. You want to hear this? Um, so from 2020 until this year, she grew 20,000 followers and she does, she's, um, gotta be 50, she's 48, she's, um, mid-size, she does a lot of videos on, um, her name's Michelle, she's wonderful, uh, you could go follow her, I'll post her in my stories, but, um, 
such an inspiration, but she does a lot of like apple shaped, pear shaped, like just things that she struggles with, she deals with. And um, she has grown from 20,000 followers over the last several years to this year, she's at almost 400,000 followers. Like what? Um, so no, you're not too old. If And for some people, you might be like, I'd rather have my foot ran over by a car than to have to go live or to do a video. And I totally get that too. Um, but if it is something that you're like, I want to do, it's not too late. Nothing is too late, but you never know unless you try, or sometimes you have to try for a long time before it takes off. Like I did these videos for a really, really long time before it took off, but had I stopped because people were like, oh yeah, you're just never going to take off. Then I, I wouldn't have. So you just don't know, but that could be for anything, anything that you have in your life that you are, both of these liners are not sharpened. And I don't know where my sharpener is. But it is not too late. Um, okay. It is possibly, oh, even the white one. We're going to do, that's not going to work. We're going to do lip gloss. Lip gloss is looking really good today. We're going <laughs> to, I just dropped that. Um, okay. Lip gloss. Say plumping lip gloss. Personally love wearing it with a lip liner, but uh, not today. But since I typically use liner with this, I have stained my sponge. It's normally clear when you buy it, but mine's a little mix. So it kind of look like I tinted. All right, I need to buy some sharpeners for prime, no kidding. Jennifer, that's what I'm doing after I get off here. I'm buying sharpeners from Prime Day. Um, so, anyways, this is our full look. Use the code gift to save for Ophir. You save 30% and then today's free shipping. Um, if you need the beautiful you stuff, if you need links, you can drop the word me below. Um, you wanna do a devotion? Let's finish with a devotion. I feel like a lot of people have heavy hearts right now and could all use a little extra Jesus in our life. Okay, this is Lamentations 325, practice pausing. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him, Lamentations 325. The Apple Watch is pretty neat. It takes into account many different factors throughout the day and offers insight into our personal rhythms. I have found it extremely informative in showing my habits and tendencies. The discovery of my own personal rhythm forced me into, to, into changing some things. I was going to sleep way too late and not getting my heart rate up first thing in the morning and everything else was being affected. Making these changes initiated several other habits. Once I began getting more rest and getting my workout completed first thing in the morning, the rest of the day offered different opportunities. This sounds like my life. I've been doing these same things. My Apple Watch also allows me to set different alarms, including reminders to breathe and slow down. While it seems unnecessary, these often come at perfect time when I have made, which have made me realize how little I used to pause. Pausing is much the same for all of us. Is there ever the opportune time to slow down when we have so much to do? It feels counterintuitive and unproductive, childish even, but much like the habit of going to sleep earlier or carving out time for intentional solitude affects every other part of our day. Meetings will pop up, emails will need to be sent, children will be sick from school, and opportunities to avoid pausing will always present themselves. But much like any other habit or desired change in our life, the more we practice something, the better we get. The more we see results of a particular discipline, the easier it becomes to require it of ourselves. The further we get away from where we once were with a particular habit, the clearer it becomes that change was in fact necessary. How can we practice pausing in life today? Are we afraid of what the Lord might reveal when we stop long enough to hear him? Let's let our hearts slip into that restful state, pausing and remembering to be grateful, collecting our emotions and resuming our posture of peace and choosing a different rhythm for our life. Eventually, we will not need that alarm to go off. How exciting will that be? The prayer of the day, dear Jesus, thank you for being present at all times. Today, we choose to pause and notice your presence and provision. When we get frustrated with our wandering mind, give us grace to extend to ourselves 
and help us pause in Jesus name. Amen. So anyways, I just want to say a quick prayer for anybody in the path of the hurricane. I just pray that Jesus gives you protection and peace, a way out of harm's way. I pray for everyone's homes. I pray for your things. I pray for your evacuation. I pray for people who don't have the means to be able to get out. I pray for their protection. And I just pray that the storm slows down and that people are able to get in to help people when it's over. And I just pray for peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So anyways, hope you guys have a good day. If you need anything, need a friend to talk to, you can always send me a message. Um, if you need links for anything, drop the word me below. I'll send them to you. Um, I hope you have a good day. I love you guys. And talk to you later. Bye, y'all.